Unit 11, P and F, as in pat and fat. How to make the sounds. For P, have your two lips touching, like in B, except make it voiceless. For F, put your top teeth onto your bottom lip and make a sound exactly like V, except make it voiceless. Exercise 1, word repetition. Listen to the following words and repeat. Pat. Punish. Apart. Couple. Pupil. Fat. Furnish. Afar. Tofel. Fulfill. Telephone. Periphery. Photograph. Philosophy. Phosphor. Exercise 2. Minimal pairs. Listen to the following word pairs. Repeat them, being careful to make the distinction between the two sounds. Pine. Fine. Peel. Feel. Open, often. Pork, fork. Depend, defend. Supper, suffer. Copy, coffee. Pew, few. Cheap, chief. Cups, cuffs. Exercise 3. Phrases with F. You will hear phrases of words that either contain the sound F or do not. As you listen to each phrase, circle yes if you hear F and circle no if you do not. Number 1. The man is cutting down a fine tree. 2. He showed a great passion for the stage. 3. Want to have another copy? 4. We saw a pair at the fair. 5. Could you tell me how many laps there were? 6. A rift between them was getting serious. 7. Ralph gets physiotherapy twice a week. Number 8. There were tiny ripples on the pond. Exercise 4, Minimal Pair Distinction. Part 1. Listen to your tape. You will hear the sentences below, but only one of the italicized words will be spoken. Circle the one word which you hear. Number 1. He saw a pile of books on the desk. 2. The guard is keeping the fork. 3. I'm trying not to pry. 4. They wondered when they were going to suffer. 5. The copy machine is broken again. Part 2. Listen for the missing words and write them on the lines below. Number 6. We feel the orange. 7. You are fooling me again. 8. His cuffs were stolen last night. 9. John did the cheap thing at the conference. 10. The fork looks wonderful on the table. Exercise 5. Dictation. Listen to the sentences and write them. Number 1. Only a few are on the pew. 2. Fiona is feeling the peelings. 3. Phoebe saw Fiona sitting apart from afar. 4. The fine men pounded a pine house. 5. Fred wiped his wife's cuffs. Part 6. Questions for Answers Given. In this section, you will hear five answers. You will not hear the questions. Listen carefully to the answer, 
and then record the question in the space provided on your tape by using your drill button. Number one. Yes, Fred found his fine under the pine. Number two. No, it wasn't a few minutes past four when I phoned her. Number three. Yes, Fred had a terrific flight with his girlfriend. Number four. Yes, I spotted a calf in the field. Number five. No, Fiona's office was on the fourth floor, not the fifth. Tongue twisters. Say these tongue twisters out loud to practice the sound. Number one. The pool is full of fools. Number two. Jeffrey plans to pick up a leaf for his faithful wife. Number three. The professor professed that professional proficiency would be preferred. Number four. Fine gifts are difficult to find. Number five. They failed to fulfill their promises to perform a perfect play without faults. Number six. Phoebe laughed at an awful photograph of her nephews falling off a fence. Number seven. Definitely, that pessimistic philosophy inflicted a sophisticated philanthropist. Number eight. The fancy pants lapped, laughed, leapt, and left. Number nine. Firefighters are fighting painfully against forest fires. Number 10. Sophie sipped coffee and sifted files to find phenomenal facts. <laughs>